Hello, we are discussing about GATE 2007 EC paper and the topic we are discussing is electron devices. This is fifth two mark question came in 2007. For the BJT circuit shown, assume that beta of the transistor is very large and VBE is 0.7 volts. Then the mode of operation of the BJT is A. Cutoff B. Saturation C. Normal active D. Reverse active This is a given BJT circuit for that BJC circuit given is VBE is 0.7 volts and beta of the transistor is very large and base side it is supplied with 2 volts and collector side it is supplied with 10 volts VCC and 2 resistors RC and RE is given 10 kilo ohms and the other is 1 kilo ohm then the transistor operation whether it is in cutoff, saturation, normal active or reverse active the correct answer for this question is the transistor is in saturation region how can we prove this one let us see the details the given information is VBE is given base to emitter voltage of the BJT is 0.7 volts and beta is very large Whenever beta is very large is given, it is very very important. Normally we will calculate base current using IC by beta. Since beta is very large, IC by beta is going to be very small that always neglected. If it is given as beta is very large, that implies nothing but you can neglect IB. That is an indirect indication. So definitely you can take it as IB is equal to 0. So IC is equal to IE. Then if beta is IB is equal to 0, we can write collector current is nothing but emitter current. So we are going to say whether it is in which region. So for that one, we are going to see, first we are assuming that one the transistor is in saturation region. And we will proceed some um, equations and we are going to achieve some conclusion. From that one, we will conclude whether it is in saturation region or active region. First, assume the transistor is in saturation. Saturation means, remember, very very important, saturation region is nothing but the collector current has become saturated, now it no more depends on base current. Generally in active region, as base current increases, collector current increases. But in saturation region, collector current becomes saturated, so even if you increase the base current, it doesn't increase the collector current. So, collector current is constant and the voltage across collector to emitter will be equal to 0.2 volts. That was a standard thing for the saturation region. Saturation region is indicated with VCE is equal to 2.2 volts. VCE saturation is 0.2 volts and IC and IB are independent of each other. Because IC is nothing but IC saturation, IB is nothing but actual current flowing into the base. They both are going to be independent of each other. So, here, since base current is neglected, we are going with current flowing through this 1 kilo ohm resistor because of input side separately we will calculate and output side we will calculate separately. Output side the current flowing through emitter from output loop is nothing but collector current only. That is IC saturation. So, with respect to output loop, the current flowing through this resistor is nothing but IC saturation and with respect to input loop the character current flowing through this one is nothing but we have to calculate we should check that current and that current if the current flowing through due to output loop is going to be greater than with respect to input loop then the transistor is in active region because you are applying lesser base current so that IC saturation is more you can increase the base current so if current flowing through this one due to input loop is going to be large compared to IC saturation so that is by that time the collector current has become saturated it no more increases even though you are increasing the input current so by that time the transistor is in saturation what you have to do is nothing but you have to calculate IC saturation with respect to output loop that is first step second step you have to calculate current flowing through the resistor 1 kilo ohm that is nothing but emitter current due to input loop compare that emitter current and this saturation current if emitter current is larger at that time transistor is in saturation region if emitter current is smaller than IC saturation by that time it will be in active region 
so first step calculate ic saturation by using vce is equal to vce saturation in kvl across collector loop so you are going with kvl during this loop so we are writing it as 10 volts minus ic saturation into 10 kilo ohms minus vce saturation minus ic saturation into 1 kilo ohm by the time ic saturation is equal to vcc minus vce saturation by rc plus re 10 minus 0.2 divided by 10 plus 1 which is nothing but 9.8 by 11 so it is lesser than 1 milliampere remember that one IC saturation is less than 1 milliampere since denominator is more than numerator. Second step we need to calculate the emitter current due to input KVL. In saturation region IC and IB are independent of each other so calculate IE from KVL across base emitter loop. KVL across base emitter loop is nothing but this is the loop. So 2 volts minus VBE minus voltage drop across 1 kilo ohm that is nothing but IE into 1 kilo ohm so you can write IE is equal to 2 minus VBE by 1 kilo ohm VBE saturation is nothing but 0.8 volts even though VBE is given 0.7 volts VBE saturation is 0.8 volts so 2 minus 0.8 divided by 1 kilo ohm that is equal to 1.2 milliampere so due to input loop the current flowing through 1 kilo ohm resistor is 1.2 milliampere but due to collector emitter loop the current flowing through it is 9.8 by 11 milliamperes that is less than 1 milliampere so IC saturation is lesser than IE due to base emitter loop so definitely the transistor is in saturation if IC saturation is greater than IE somehow then the transistor will be in active region so the correct answer for the question is transistor is biased in saturation region Thank you.